In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through how to build a simple list reordering in Ionic 2. Uh, this is a, a pretty common uh, uh, requirement in applications uh, and it is super simple to do in Ionic 2. So this is going to be a really quick tutorial and hopefully something uh, really easy that you can add to your own applications. So I've generated this application to start off with. It's just a simple blank template. Uh, we're going to use this to first create a list and then we'll cover how to reorder that list. So let's jump into the code now. And what we're going to do is just make use of the, uh, the home page. And we're just going to define, uh, we'll define some data in here and then we'll display that data in a list in the template. So I'm just going to add uh, a variable here. Uh, I haven't actually come up with uh, data to use in the list yet. Um, let's just go with uh, animals. So we'll just create uh, an animals member variable there and then we'll just assign some data to that. In the constructor here, uh, let's go with dog, cat, elephant, uh, kangaroo and Koala, that should do. Okay, so we'll save that and then jump over to the template. Uh, we're going to delete this and we're just going to add a list. So we'll use ion list and then we're just going to loop over that data with a structural directive in uh, our ion item here. And I've covered this uh, pretty extensively in a separate tutorial so if you want to check out exactly how structural directives like ng4 work I recommend checking that out uh, I'll link it uh, in the description uh, so what we want to do is loop over the animals array we created so we'll do let animal of animals and then we'll just uh, render out the animal with an interpolation here so if I save that now and we take a look uh, in the browser uh, we can see we have dog cat elephant uh, elephant rather. Let me just fix that. Okay, so we have dog, cat, elephant, kangaroo and koala. And I certainly can't uh, drag to reorder this list yet. Uh, so what we can do to enable that uh, is all we have to do is come into our template and we'll add a reorder equals true attribute there. And so let's save that and we'll see what happens now. Okay, so we've got this little a hamburger sort of icon here uh, that we can then use to drag. So if I drag koala to the top now, it doesn't stay there. Uh, so I can move these around, but uh, nothing is actually changing as a result of that. So what we need to do is we need to update our data to reflect the change. And so what we can do is set up an event binding for an event called uh, ion item reorder. And then we want to create a function of our own to reorder those items so we'll create a reorder item function and we'll pass in the event that that ion, ion, ion item reorder creates. Uh, so this is going to send the new positions of the list to this event, uh, to this function here and it's by passing in that event. So that means we're going to have to create this uh, function in here. So we'll create a function called reorder item and we want to take in that event which is going to allow us, uh, give us access to the new indexes for the items. And so by index I just mean their position in the, li uh, in the list. I'm causing some errors now but uh, so the dog would be index 0, cat index 1, elephant index 2 and so on. And so what we need to do with those is uh, change our list reorder our list to reflect those new indexes that are being passed into this reorder item function. Now you could do this manually but uh, Ionic provides a, um, a method to do this uh, so we can just import this thing called reorder array and that's just going to handle doing that automatically for us so all we need to do is set this dot animals to reorder array and we'll pass in uh, our current array and then the indexes that we got from that ion item reorder event. So if I save that now and we'll jump back into the browser. If I try dragging Koala now up to the top, it stays there. So now I can reorder these however I wish and the changes are going to be uh, reflected. 
Uh, so in, uh, I guess in a real application, you'd also want to make sure you save this new array to uh, whatever storage mechanism you're using if that's required. Uh, so that when the user comes back to the application later, um, all these are still in the order that they, that they set them to. So I think it's pretty, it's a really cool and easy feature to implement in Ionic 2. Uh, all the sort of hard stuff is handled for us, uh, and we can just easily create these uh, lists that can be reordered. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this this quick uh, tutorial, and I will see you in the next one.